This is a KGUN 9 Now News Update. Thank you for joining us for this news update. I'm Valerie Cavazos. Governor Doug Ducey is mandating all Arizona schools start offering in-person learning this month. The executive order says all schools must offer in-person learning or remote learning option for students. That has to happen by March 15th or after spring break. The new rule doesn't apply to middle and high schools in three high transmission counties, Coconino, Yavapai, and Pinal. State Superintendent Kathy Hoffman responding this afternoon, saying the timing of this announcement will make it challenging for some schools that had already planned to return to in-person instruction on a different schedule due to their local community circumstances. As a state, we should be collaborating to provide as much preparation and planning time as possible ahead of significant changes to school operations. Tucson Mayor Regina Romero is pushing for Congress to pass direct aid for cities, counties, and schools. Mayor Romero joined the mayor of Phoenix and a city of Mesa councilman on a conference call with frontline workers demanding the Senate pass the American Rescue Plan. And that's the proposed nearly $2 trillion economic stimulus bill that it's making its way through Congress. As speakers discuss the importance of federal aid for preserving essential public services and support of working families and small businesses. But the cost of battling this pandemic is so high and its impact on our economy is so severe that we still need flexible federal aid to help see us through this difficult time. The bill still needs to be passed by the Senate, but they need to remove a minimum wage hike to do that. Then it'll go back to the House for another vote. Unemployment advocates are pushing for that bill to be signed and passed and signed by next Sunday to avoid a gap in benefits for Americans who lost their jobs because of the pandemic. And Tucson's mayor is calling for a pause on a planned zoo expansion. Now, Mayor Romero says she's heard from Tucsonans concerned about the expansion and how the city handled the planning. We've reported before a group is upset that the currently free duck pond would be incorporated into a new tiger habitat and closed off. Their main complaint, the city didn't disclose the master plan for their improvements until after voters had already approved a tax and that the language of that ballot measure didn't mention expansion at all. So far, it's not clear if construction will actually stop on that pro project. All right, let's move to weather now. Low pressure will move east and leave behind some cooler air for Thursday. Highs will only climb into the upper 60s with overnight lows in the low 40s. Friday, warmer air returns and will take us through the weekend. Highs will climb into the lower 80s all the way into Monday. Next week, an unsettled weather pattern returns to southern Arizona. Cooler temperatures, gusty wind, and even a possibility of a few showers will return.